Very warm welcome to all of you in this uh, evening at the Bali. Um, yeah, that's the good thing. If you're the last one, it's only in the front we have seats left. <laughs> Um, welcome at this evening. My name is uh, Esther van Rijswijk and we are here together because of the Dutch translation, translation of David Greber's book about bullshit jobs. Um, it may be a bit of a scary night. How many of you have read the book? Quite a few, I would say, for those looking at, uh, uh, listening at home. Probably about 15%. Um, this night will be streamed, so um, uh, whenever you want to say something, please wait for the mic. And we're going to be uh, talking to and with you a lot, we hope. So before I introduce David, um, I want you all um, to take your telephone, uh, because we're going to use that. Normally I say switch off your telephone, do switch it off. But now I also want you to take it, because um, we want to get to know you a little bit. Um, so Dana, if we can switch to Mentimeter. Um, it's very easy um, because you're going you're gonna to be using your phone as well to, to put questions forward. But first I want to introduce you to the tool a little bit. So please go to menti.com. You can just use the browser because it doesn't use a lot of data or anything. Just do it on your 4G or otherwise take the Wi-Fi from the cafe, which is an open Wi-Fi. Uh, and then if you put forward the code 642367, um, and then maybe you uh, want to answer this question. I am. <laughs> what comes up? What are you? Who are you? Or whatever. Ah, happy. We have happy people in the room. That's good. I hope you're going to stay happy because I can tell you, I was a bit scared when I started reading the book because I was so afraid I was going to find out I had a bullshit job, actually. And maybe some of you will find out tonight that when you really think about it, you do have a bullshit job. I don't know if that's bad. I find out I'm not, I can't have a bullshit job because I'm not employed. So I was very happy. I'm self-employed. I think you have to define other ways because still I can be totally useless, of course. But um, good, so you're all curious. You're tired, of course. Intrigued, skeptical. Hungry? Oh my God, a vegan. We have a vegan. Where's the vegan in the house? The vegan in the house is Kainier. There's three vegans in the house. Good. We have makers. We have somebody. We have energetic. We have young and lazy. We have everything. That's good. Uh, let me put forward. I'm, I'm going to put you into this uh, funnel a little bit and uh, uh, go to the next question. Um, if you want to switch. Yeah. Now here you have to really choose. Now you can't decide for yourself. You are what? Are you employed, self-employed like me? Then you can't have a bullshit job, which is good. Or oh, a student. Ah, there's many employed people. So those are going to find out today if they didn't know already if they have a bl bullshit job. Good. Okay. That's a clear. We have about, how many people are there here, Merlijn? 160, okay, and 106 logged in. You can still do it up in the front and you can do it whenever you want. So this tool um, we're gonna be using and you can also use it to put questions forward. You see a little in the middle of your screen, you see this little uh, square and where it says question. You can put a question forward there. Um, it's a very good tool because people sometimes like to like make a speech, which makes my job more difficult. But here you have to do it like in, maybe 200 uh, signs or whatever. And the good thing is, if you have a really a good question, you can vote for each other's questions. Uh, so if there's a question with you, with the audience, and everybody says this really needs an answer, do vote for each other's questions, and we will definitely put them forward to uh, David. Uh, I've reserved the last part of the evening for that. I, I really want to take time for that, so 20, 25 minutes. Um, but if really urgent stuff comes up, and I, I will be chatting here with him, and if you guys get bored, put the questions for me, and Merlijn will drag me out of it and say, Esther, this is a total lo wrong interview. The people here want to know different things. So then we'll just switch to you, I promise. Um, good. David, um, I want to go to the next one, Merlijn. Uh, so... What comes to mind when we say David Graeber? Maybe you don't know him, maybe you do. <laughs> what is he to you? <laughs> Bullshit, yeah. 
philosophy. Maagdenhuis, some people may have seen him in the Maagdenhuis where he was a couple of years ago. Sociology, bold statements, no clue, says somebody. Twitter, uh, he's the guy sitting next to me. Oh, hello, well, good. Uh, he's a genius, somebody says. Now, if you want to say, yeah, I too think he's a genius, then write it down and it gets bigger and we get a proper word cloud about who David really is, or at least who we think he is, because we will get to know him better tonight. Occupy, he was, he's seen as one of the heroes of Occupy. He's an anthropologist, he's holistic, an original thinker. I think it's time we get uh, David here to see if this is all a good, picture of David. Can I have a big round of applause, please, for David Graeber. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. So what do you th see, think when you see this? Well, I'm kind of shocked and disturbed. <laughs> but <laughs> um, yeah, I guess. What you, what you put in the middle? What would be your main thing? I don't know. I don't know, I'll leave it to others to decide who I am. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I think so too, that's yeah. probably the best way to go. Um, well, Occupy Hero, it's in here. Uh, you are a professor of anthropology, I of am, course, yes. at the London School of Economics. You've written a couple of books, that's that. Eh? Yeah, that's yeah, what a lot of people... I guess everybody knows that one, yeah. Yeah, so there was a book on the history of that, or five... Death, five... the first 5,000 years was the title in English. Right? Yeah, and after you've read it, then what do you know? Um, For those who didn't? The very short version? It's 566 <laughs> pages. Um, you, you know that, that debt existed before money, that, that everything they tell you about the history of economics is probably wrong. Good. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's all read it, then yeah. we know why the history of economics is all wrong. Um, you have also been called a professor of uh, resistance and revolution. Why is that? Well, I don't know, considering I don't teach it at all. Um, actually, I'm a very conventional anthropologist in a lot of ways. Uh, I have been in, I kind of have a two-track career in that way, because I, ha I write stuff for activist audiences as well, but not um, for academic ones uh, in academic venues. I kind of mix it up a little bit. I, back in 2000, I got involved in the global justice movement, and I've been kind of doing that kind of thing ever since. And then for some, that immediately makes you a revolutionary. Yeah, my <laughs> people, my, my employers at the time were not happy at all, but that's why I'm no longer in America. I kind of got kicked out of the American Academy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Are you sad about that? Well, I mean, you know, you got to be a little sad being kicked out of your country, but I like where I am now. I'm Kick very happy. Kicked out of the country, even. Yeah, if well, you're basically I mean, as a scientist. Well, I mean, for seven years, I, every place I applied for a job, like I was just next immediately, yeah. Oh. In America, everywhere else in the world, everybody wanted to hire me. And then me. you came so to really Europe. Weird, yeah. But you didn't go far enough and you ended up in Britain. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. We, will, we can always have you. Okay, first we're going to give you the floor for about 10, 12 minutes. You're going to give us, I don't know, the introduction to the book. Yeah. And I'll... we're going to have an interview and uh, see what happens. Okay. Yeah, okay. Another round of applause, please, for Dave. <laughs> All right. Um... I guess what I should talk about is, is how I came to write the book, because it's kind of an interesting story. I'm an anthropologist by profession, and I've always felt that I'm an anthropologist in two ways. The whole idea of anthropology is that a clueless outsider sometimes can see 